I'm a beautiful family and welcome to this video. Today in this video we are going to talk about my favorite products of 2021. Actually the last year's favorite. Now I didn't have opportunity to film this video in the December so that's why it's coming here in January but it's early in January and I think I'm going to continue using these products through this year and I think they are definitely something you need to talk about and um, love, maybe experience, try and if you're curious about these products and want to see what I'm going to use what I love last year what I definitely recommend then please keep on watching. <music> Okay, so I have issue with this eyelashes. It's actually poking me in the eye and kind of itching a little bit. So please be patient with me if I touch my eye a little bit too much. Okay, before I go dive in, I want to t talk about what I have on my eyes. Definitely need to talk about be talking about. I do have this Be Brie palette from CBT brand. I have the video where I review these products. I'm going to link it down below. You need to check out these. I have this all, of, all over the eyelid and then I have this one in the crease and I topped it with the new Max Ho Ho Hocus Shadow Shifter Duochrome Eyeshadow and it's this is the I have the whole collection but this is the one shade that I use today and I just love it so need to talk about that if you want them but I first thought that I would you know choose one product of each category which kind of was really hard then i was like okay i'm going to try two products <clears throat> didn't really went well very, very well with a couple of uh, categories but you know what i am going to do a delicate video of my favorite eyeshadow palettes through the whole year because i had so plenty so many eyeshadow palettes that I think are worth discussing and talk about so definitely going to do that video but here today I'm just going to touch up with maybe two three products from every category and just to tell you what I think uh, about them and what I've used the whole year what I've used the most now there are definitely more products I love but I haven't used them as much as these because these I really really trust so let's go with the base I have two products that I've used the most last year it's the milk makeup grip primer i have oily skin and or combination skin and this is just my holy grail i love this product i also been using using this nina nina i think from nikki tutorials brand love this i don't like shiny face and i don't like oily face but this somehow works like magic uh, on my face. I actually traveled with this. I didn't use my moisturizer during the day. I just used this and then I went in with my foundations and it lasted the whole day. I just like like this product. It doesn't make me more oily. It doesn't make me look more cakey. It just makes my face look healthy and smooth. So I really enjoy these primers and I'm definitely going to use them for the rest of the year, this year too, maybe next year too, if I don't find another primer that I love. Now there are more primers that I really like, but these two are my holy grail and the only one that I can actually trust it right now with my foundation if I want something that will last me the whole day. So these are beautiful. Okay, so let's then go with the foundation. Now, this was, this was a hard category to kind of uh, lean to to kind of find something that I really enjoy that I haven't talked about. So you're just going to see yeah. the repeats. It's because they are really the holy grail. Now I have everything here next to me, so stay naked. Urban Decay. This one is this is the darker shade 40 NN that I have just a little bit left of it, but I love this foundation, especially if you have combination skin. I just love this foundation. It wears beautifully on my face. Love, love, definitely recommend. Really good, it's lightweight, full coverage, or medium to full coverage, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the foundation that I've been talking so much on my channel that I think if you are an uh, old subscriber, you know that this is my holy grail. This is Catrice Cosmetic HD Liquid Foundation that is just something I can't live without. And uh, this is definitely my 
dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I actually purchased new Estee Lauder Double Wear in another shade and I'm going to use that one because this one I'm almost finished with. But this is my holy grail foundation. This is something that I always, always can go back to, that I know I trust if my skin is kind of weird and uh, I'm having breakouts or something, I know this will work. If I feel sick but I need makeup and I don't want to have too much makeup that is going to, you know, disturb me or make me feel uncomfortable because I'm sick or not feeling really well, um, this is something I definitely wear. I really like it. Uh, I don't like the applicator, this dropper is just, I wish they could change the packaging and not touch the foundation at all because it's just one, the beautiful foundation. I have it in 30 sand beige, that's my color, uh, sometimes lighter, sometimes darker, I just go with the flow, I use this shade all the time and I just love, love, love this foundation, definitely repurchased. This was my favorite last year, I think even the year before that, so I've been talking about this foundation a little bit too much on my channel. Other foundation that I fell in love with this year is actually the ET Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. Now, let me show you, I don't know if you can see, oh, this lighting. Okay, now guys, I have the tube one, I don't know what it's called, but I, you know which one I think. That one is kind of fine, but I think this one is much better if you have oily or combination skin. If you didn't find that other one in the tube, that's like uh, CC cream, CC cream? I think it's called CC. If that didn't work for you, this will definitely do it. This is an amazing foundation. It actually does the same job as the Catrice does to me. It's a little bit more expensive, of course, but I just love this foundation. I have been traveling with this one too, and I'm almost out. I just have this small amount of it. And actually, it's what I have on my skin today mixed with another foundation. Just love it. I think it's a beautiful foundation. Definitely something I could re recommend. Definitely something I'm going to repurchase. Also something, it's lightweight that gives me uh, medium coverage not full, medium coverage, feels healthy, feels lightweight, looks really good. If you have texture on your skin, this will definitely do a very good job. I'm not making it look cakey, but I really enjoy this foundation. Now, I need to talk about powder foundations too that I'll be using when I want something fast. I want something that will cover my um, acne scars or cover my discoloration, but I don't need, I don't want to spend a lot of time putting my makeup on, just fast foundation, you know, and some blush and out the door. This is the two that I use all the time. Now I use the Aqua from uh, JCAT, and this is the shade Ivory. Now I have all of the shades. This Ivory, uh, you know, I, bottom here, I used it a lot. I used on my T-zone because it's lighter than my skin. Then I go in with this Pro Filter from Fenty Beauty. This is in 210. I, it's a little bit darker for me right now, but I use it uh, on the other part of my face. And it can, then I kind of blend them together and it becomes like a bronzer and highlight on my skin. It looks really good. It melts into the skin, makes everything, when my oils come through, it kind of makes everything look like a, like skin. It's light texture. Use it when I'm just at home and I need something or I'm going to, to, to the store and need something fast. It's definitely something I go for and recommend if you have oily or combination skin too. Let's go then to the bronzers. Now I had to do cream and powder bronzers because I had plenty of the bronzers that I love. And I'm going to start with the um, cream products. And the cream products that I've been using the most this year. The first one I really need to talk about, it's Cash Beauties. This is a Cash Beauty bronzer and this is a Shady Beach. This is the best cream bronzer that you're going to get. It's so nice. It blends into the, into the skin beautifully. It has a nice texture. It's definitely something you need to buy and try. If you haven't tried anything from Crash Beauty, I recommend you to do that because they have some beautiful, beautiful products. And I have it on my face today, actually. I did top it with another powder bronzer, but it's what I have as my base, and I just enjoy this product a lot. Something I can't live without. 
I definitely love this brand Cash Beauty. Definitely recommend. Really, really strong. It's one of the best brands, especially when it comes to cream products. Love it. The other bronzer that I'm using a lot is the Makeup Mecca Bronzer, Cream Bronzer. Now this, they only have one shade, which is kind of bummer. This bronzer is beautiful. I've been using it a lot. It's more um, to that warm color if you need a warmer bronzer. This is definitely something that you need. It's blendable. It's easy. Also, you can build it up if you have a little bit darker skin tone or lighter skin tone than me. But I feel like they should create a little bit more shades so many more people can use it. But a beautiful product. Really, really melts into the skin. Uh, doesn't look patchy. Doesn't matter what kind of foundation you have. Dry foundation, oily foundation is going to blend beautifully. And I do definitely recommend it. It's very affordable and it's a really good brand. This is a Norwegian brand that I use a lot on my channel makeup mecca and i really enjoy this bronzer definitely recommend beautiful beautiful product something wrong with my voice too kind of disappears the other bronzer that i just love and actually discovered during the fall i haven't used it during the summer and during the spring which is kind of a bummer because i feel feel like i missed something but this is the tart um breeze bronzer it's oh my god this is a beautiful beautiful cream bronzer and i've used this on other people and this is a really natural color this is in shade breeze or seashells seashells this is a beautiful natural shade color it, Kind of leans a little bit to more warm. Really enjoy this bronzer. It dries down, it's easy to build up, it lasts all day, and definitely something I have in my collection and I definitely drink. Okay, let's go to the powder bronzers. I need some water, but I'm too lazy to go downstairs. Now, I really enjoy this Too Faced bronzer. Now, this is something that has been out for Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It's been out for years and years, but I started using it this year. I got it as, as my birthday gift from a sister. Smells chocolate, beautiful pigmented, you don't need a lot of it, just a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It's new to my collection, that's what I want to talk about it, but it's definitely something that everybody should have, uh, and it's buildable. It's easy to blend, it's beautiful, and it's what I have on top of my cream bronzer, and it looks stunning. Then another bronzer that needs a lot of attention, this is the Beauty Bakery Snack Rune Bronzer in bite size. This the bronzer that I got from my friend Valerie in our box swap. I like Beauty Bakery. Bakery. I haven't tried a lot of their products. I do have the product that Valerie sent to me. Oh my god, it's kind of hard to open. Okay, here it is. It looks very light, but it's really buildable. Doesn't smell anything special. It's buildable. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful bronzer that it's very soft but very easy to build up so this is something for someone that's scared of bronzes but i want to try to experiment and try to use a bronzer but i have never have never used a bronzer this is definitely something for you or if you have very light skin this is a perfect bronzer you can build it up you can go with a light hand Too face is definitely more pigmented than this one and also is in your face but this is a very beautiful soft bronzer that I really enjoy and I've been using it a lot, really, really a lot on my channel. And also when I'm not filming. Let's go to the blush. Blush, blush, blush. Now I need to talk about cream blushes because if you know me, I haven't been uh, a really a big fan of cream product before this year. So last year, 2021 is the year when I start experimenting and trying more cream products. I was always scared of cream products because I have combination skin oily T-zone and I've been scared that it's going to melt away. But that's wrong. That's wrong. That's what I learned last year. Don't be scared of cream products if you have oily skin or if you have combination skin. Just find a good base, find a product that will last and you'll be amazed how beautiful your skin will look. Now, blush that everybody needs is from Cash Beauty, and this is in the shade Love Language. It's 
I always get beautiful compliments when I wear this blush. It looks scary. It's what I have on my face today. But every time I wear this, people compliment my skin and say that this blush is nice and I should always use it. Now, when it's easy to blend, it's easy to build up. This is a beautiful shade. You can build it up, you can go lightheaded, you can use it on lips, on the cheeks, everywhere. This is a beautiful blush, just like the bronzer, easy to blend. I love this color, I've been using it a lot. Now, another cream blush that I've been using a lot this year is also from um, Tarte. This is the Peach Sunset Breeze Cream Brown Blush and it's Peach Sunset. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush. It's more uh, pink than the other one. The other one is more red. This one is more pink and will... It feels like powder when you touch it, but it blends beautifully and I love, love this blush. Also good if you have oily or combination skin. Both of these blushes are beautiful. Now I always set my blushes, not anymore with the powder, that's what I learned, that's a good tip for you. Top it with a blush. Now a blush I love topping uh, my cream blushes with, it's the one, this is maybe a surprise for many of you, but a blush that I also got a lot of compliments is the Heartbreakers from I Love Revolution. This brave matte blush. This blush is beautiful. I wear it almost every day on top of my cream blushes. Doesn't matter what kind of cream blush I have, I always go with this one on top. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush that everybody needs. Now, I don't know if you can see it on my hand. I'm just going to try to build it up. It's very soft. It's easy to build up. It's pink, but also I don't know, it's just beautiful and I love it. I get a lot of compliments when I use this too and I can't live without. I got this from my sister because I always complimented her cheeks when she had this blush and she bought it for me. So I'm very happy that I got it as my birthday gift and I've been using it every single day. No, almost every single day. Uh, the other blushes that I've been uh, using instead of this, that's powder blushes, it's actually a Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. These blushes is every these blushes are everything, and you have all colors you need you need, and you can top it with this if you want more shimmery or glow to your blush. But all of these shades can work on uh, most skin tones. Uh, I can use this deeper, just be a light handed. They're beautiful, easy to build up, pigmented, stay on the whole day. I forgot the co concealer. Now two concealers that I've been using the most this year and I do have other concealers that I like but two that I think are my favorite is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I've been using for years. Really like it. Full coverage. It's what I have on my uh, on my face today. Love this one. Sorry guys that was my phone. But I also love the Rebecca Stella's concealer and this is in shade 1. I love this concealer. It's lightweight. It's also uh, medium, medium coverage, medium to full coverage. This is in vanilla from NARS and number one from the NARS one number vanilla, uh, vanilla and number one from Robert Castell if you want to compare the shades. I love both of these concealers. Now this is more heavy concealer. Not heavy in you go to look heavy on the eyes. It's, I don't know if you can see, the Rebecca Stella is more creamy and gives you a more radiant look. While this one is more matte, but also doesn't look matte on the eyes, but it dry, dries down faster. I love both of these products and sometimes I mix them, sometimes I use them all by themselves. Just love these concealers and definitely going to repurchase. Really, really enjoy them. I've been having this Rebecca Stella for a whole year and I still have plenty of products left. So it's a small packaging, but it contains a lot of product. Feels like it. I don't know. Maybe I use a little bit too little, but just love those. Two highlighters or three highlighters that I've been using a lot. Now, two are creamy. Cream highlighters. Um, there is... Kaya Cosmetics, this is Kaya Pearl Swirl that I love a lot. You can use this on the face, on the body, everywhere. 
this is the cream cream product i just like this product a lot it doesn't lift your foundation it looks radiant looks beautiful looks healthy doesn't look too shiny it you can build it up you can look you can see yourself from another planet but i just enjoy this product how it blends into the skin how it blends into the foundation and other products it plays really beautifully with many of my all of my cream products that i've been using now what i like about this product you can use it under your foundation if you want more healthy look if you want to um if you have matte foundation but you want more radiant look you can mix it with the foundation so this is a product that you can play with and use it in many many ways i really like this i also have another dark crochet that i also like to use on my body love this product a lot so definitely recommend Another cream blush, a uh, highlight to my blush is Angel Energy from Cash Beauty. I mean, Cash Beauty is just doing its thing. Look at this. This is the Cash Beauty one. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter that, that melts into the skin. It looks so beautiful with all of the product. You can also top it on top of the powder and it's going to look sorry guys just dropped something it's going to look beautiful on top of other powder products too so i enjoy that product a lot but if you use it on top of the powder product then use it on your hand to warm it up a little bit and then go in it's not going to lift your foundation uh powder bro, highlighter that i'm using a lot now i have um a lot of highlighters plenty of highlighters that i like but when i was speaking uh to i could I couldn't decide so I picked one one powder highlighter that highlighter that I'm using almost every day on top of the cream highlighters on uh, on almost all of my makeup looks I've been using this highlighter a lot and I definitely used for its money because it's expensive one this is the Pat McGrath's lab this is divine rose now yes it's pink but I don't know why. I just love this highlighter a lot. And I've been using it on top uh, of my makeup. Almost on every makeup look that I've been using. I just go in with this highlighter. I love this highlighter so, so much. And if you need something, you want a highlighter that's different than anything else. That's more... Could be rose, could be gold, could be nude. This is definitely something. It's beautiful. The color works with all of my makeup looks that I've done. Colorful, pinkish, nudish makeup looks. Every color that I've been using. This, I don't know, for some reason worked. Uh, or I think it works. Nobody said anything else. So I just love this highlighter. And if I would choose just one highlighter, this will definitely be it forever. My baby, love it. Not my baby, I didn't make it, but it's, you know, my favorite. Okay, let's go with the powders. Jacqueline Hill powders are amazing. This is Brightening Pink and the eye powder that I love a lot. This is my most used product and I still have some left of it. I just love this powder and I think it's definitely uh, one of my favorites. I also like Huda Beauty's one, but these two kind of work for me the same way and i just love this powder a lot especially on my eyes i have a lot of texture on my eyes i'm 37 i'm not so young anymore so this is definitely something definitely that works for me i love it the other powder that i'll be using a lot off camera though uh, is this Givenchy. Givenchy Givenchy i can't pronounce it anymore i have in satin long and muslin pastel board shades i use this almost every day too i on the rest of my body sometimes i go in with jack and sometimes i go in with this one uh these two i like them i don't travel with these because they are a little bit bulkier to travel with um and i not really a big fan of the packaging that you have four different shades divide like this the, it, i don't like that but but they're beautiful beautiful powders now i use this most under my eyes the muslim pastel i think it's called and the other one satin blanc i blank i use on the rest of my face and i like these a lot 
Uh, I don't use them a lot on my channel because they cost a lot. They are not that... They are very high in price, but definitely I feel like they are worth it. But if you have other products that you love, you can you can live without this. Let's go for the eyebrow products. Now, eyebrow products that I'll be using a lot is the Sigma Medium Powder Set. Now, I think, I don't know, I filmed a review of this months, months ago, but I haven't, I don't think I have it on my channel. That will, that will definitely come. I have pre-filmed plenty of videos, but I didn't have time to edit them and they will be edited and be on my channel. You're going to see my kind of fall background during the spring, but I hope, I don't, I hope you don't care about the back, back background. <laughs> Can't speak anymore, but I really like this product and I'm using it every day. It's very easy, it's fast and it's just something I reach for. They have a nice mirror, so I travel with this. Then I go in with the best brow boost set gel and this is from Nude Stick. Just a good brow set gel if you need something like that. So these two work beautifully together. For the mascaras, I've been using two mascaras uh, almost the whole year. Now I really, really love Huda Beauty's one, but when I went out of that one, I already had a couple of, or still have a plenty of mascaras that I need to use up before I purchased that, that one. And I got it in Huda Beauty's calendar, so I'm very happy about it. Now, I really like L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's really good if you have oily, uh, oily eyelids, this is going to work. It's not going to flick, it's not going to smudge, it's just going to last, so I really enjoy it. Another one that it's been out forever, it's L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I really like it too. It's what I have on my eyes, eyelashes today, though I have falsies, so you can't really see it, but I really like it. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, I don't look like a raccoon at the end of the day. So these two mascaras I do recommend if you haven't tried these. I do recommend them. Now when it comes to eyeliners, I don't usually use eyeliners. I have really hooded eyes and I have bad vision. So for me, without my glasses, it's kind of hard to create an eyeliner. I don't, I think they look nice, but I feel like they cover all of my eyelids. So I'm not really good at it. But I, the one that I've been using, just as a small line, but also in my waterline, is the Pat McGrath's uh, Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil Crayon. And this is in Blanc Coffee, and it's a brown shade that I really, really like. So this is definitely something I recommend if you want your liner to last in your waterline. This is a really, really good one. And the one that I can't live without, it's Eye Brightener from Kaya Cosmetics. I have it in my waterline. I don't have it today, but I almost have it every single time I wear makeup. It's just a beautiful can't see it, it's very nude, but it, it brightens on the eyes, it stays uh, for at least 10-11 hours and I really really like this product and definitely going to repurchase when I finish this one because it's really, it's really good. Then when it comes to lips, um, it's hard to me for choose like a lip liner that I really enjoy, but the lip liners I use the most are from Rebecca Stella's all of the shades I have all of the shades this is number three that I just have it in my hand but Rebecca Stella's lip liners are one of the best lip liners now I just start using the Linda Halbert's one it's what I have on my lips today and I do enjoy it but uh, I just started using Linda Halbert's but the during the whole year I've been reaching for for Rebecca Stella all the time and I really really like her lip liners definitely recommend. She has sale, I still think she still has sale on her website, so you can purchase this for a really good price. Now, when it comes to lipsticks too, switching a lot. I mean, do I have favorites? Yes, Cash Beauty is one. I really enjoy a lot. All of the, I have almost all of the shades from Cash Beauty. Really enjoy their uh, lipsticks. Now, they are more matte uh, lipsticks, so prepare for that. I do top them with glosses and my favorite lip glosses are from Luna Beauty. Now I have almost all of the shades and I think I did a review video but I don't think I edited it. I tried all them that I bought and I really enjoyed the, their lip glosses. It's I have this one on top of the lip liner. It's Moon. It's what I have on my lips today. I really enjoyed it. This is 
the best formula for lip glosses ever that you're ever going to find. And then let's go to the eyes when it comes to eyeshadow primers. <sighs> That's really hard to choose. I have uh, been preparing a long, long time, long, long, really long time for reviewing plenty of new and old uh, eyeshadow primers. But the one that I've been reaching the most this year and using when I do tutorials is the Urban Decay. Urban Decay eyeshadow prime portion. It's This one is anti-aging and I mean they all work beautifully. I like this and this will last me at least 11-12 hours. I really enjoy this eyeshadow primer. Now I do like still like my Wet n Wild but I finished up that one, bought a new one, but before I went in with that one, I want to use up this one. When it comes to eyeshadow, eyeshadows, uh, that's the hard, hardest thing for me to choose because I'm addicted to eyeshadow palettes. Definitely addicted. That's my weak spot. <laughs> really weak spot. But I am going to do a delicate video where I talk about the eyeshadow palettes, 10 or 15, depends where I am. But my favorite eyeshadow palette that I'll be using through the whole year. But, but, if I'm going to tell you to, to invest in, two that you can play with, two that you um, can use for creating many different makeup looks, then I choose chose one that it's more that neutral side if you don't like colors like this or pink red blue then you can go for that one but if you like more colorful makeup looks then there is another one that i think you could try both of them are more expensive sorry for that but i do have a video where i'm going to talk about with um but many different price ranges when it comes to eyeshadows that you can choose or eyeshadow palettes with different prices or in different price range did i say that right yeah you know what i mean that will really come up but if you want more nude colors and you're scared of shades but you want a little bit to experiment and go from day to night makeup look the naughty from huda beauty palette is for you this is blendable easy to use easy to blend, has different nice beautiful colors and there is something for everyone and just a fun palette to play with, really fun palette. If you want to try more colorful you can go for this one or this shade here. Uh, beautiful you can go do a matte look, satin look, glittery look, you can go and create many makeup looks with this palette. So definitely something uh, for you if you're scared of color but want to experiment a little bit, this is definitely for you. If I'm going to use one palette that I don't regret buying, that I think is definitely a good purchase, then it's Pat McGrath's. This is the Mega Celestial Odyssey, did I say that right? <sighs> My favorite palette from uh, Pat McGrath. My favorite palette from Pat McGrath. Now, these shimmer shades had a little bit fallout, so I do recommend the what it's called the base. I love this product, I love this palette. This is definitely something that I will repurchase. If I lost this one or lost all of my shadow palettes, I would definitely repurchase this one. This is a beautiful palette. If you haven't tried anything from Pat McGrath but you want to try, definitely invest in this one because it has everything. And it's it does have like four matte shades, which some people think it's a bummer, but they work with every single shade in here. So I think it's definitely a palette to invest in. I love this. I don't really like the these kind of things in the palette, but I mean the packaging we can talk about. The packaging is beautiful, but it's a little bit better than the last years. The packaging, do I like the the last years too? this kind of big palette, but I really like this one. I have a couple of Pat McGrath's palettes, but this one is definitely my favorite. Love it, love it, love it a lot. Okay guys, I think I talked about all of the products. Now 
definitely I can do another video for all of the foundations. If you want to say that, definitely coming up with palettes that I definitely think you should buy in 2022 and I also have palettes that I regret buying or products that I regret buying that that will also come here soon don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, just comment let me know down below what's your favorite product of 2021 what are you going to buy this year that launched last year let me know down below i'm very curious to know guys i love you all so much thank you so much for your support hope you have a beautiful year and uh, and i see you in my next video i love you all bye